guys welcome back to my channel so let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know all right so we're going to get four of these cards let's give it one more shuffle and these cards fall out of the deck all right so because you have two cards that fell we're going to pull six cards we're going to get four all right let's see what the universe wants you to know we have unworthy you are a better person than i am time i'm afraid it's too late to take action all right so this may be someone that walked away from you and they want to come back around or someone you walked away from we have holding back i should have expressed myself better so someone feels like there's something that they should have said to you and now they've had time to think about the situation maybe they should have handled it better they felt like they should have treated you better here Somebody feels like they're unworthy of this connection or they're unworthy of your love. You know, maybe because they never had really, uh, maybe they never had real love or maybe they never had anyone in their life to love them the way you did. So this person could be realizing this now, Taurus. And we have regret. I wish this never happened. All right, so someone is in heavy regret over losing you. And we have hope. I haven't given up on us yet. All right, Taurus, you got some good cards here. So someone hopes that you guys can fix the situation or they can come back around. And we have confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. So somebody wants to know, where do you guys stand? Is it too late for them to try and fix this? Have you truly moved on? Um, This could be someone that you're ignoring. Why I'm hearing, Taurus, that somebody wants you to stop being stubborn somebody wants you to open up and, and talk to them and let them know that you still care about them maybe you do but maybe you just feel like you don't deserve that like why should i let you know that i still care about you when you had the chance you didn't take advantage of that you didn't know how to treat me right all right let's get some message cards and then we're going to jump into the tarot spare what messages do you have for taurus do they need to know I'm hearing what is Taurus up to? Taurus, somebody may reach out to you next week. They want to know what you're up to because they haven't heard from you. Um, and if they have heard from you, I feel like it's been very little that you guys have talked or text each other. It's like um, I'm picking up energy that you guys are in a weird space with someone where you're like, you don't want to reach out. They don't want to reach out because they don't know if you're going to reject them or if you guys are going to get into an argument or if you actually want to talk to them somebody is asking like did you mean what you said we have forgiveness so they want your forgiveness it says they want to apologize for their wrongdoings and any hurt they may have caused we also have only choice they will choose to be or stay with you no one else compares to you what messages do you have for taurus what do they need to know uh, Taurus, did you tell this person you're done and <laughs> that you're walking away from this? It says, in order to evolve, sometimes you have to leave what you feel you've outgrown. So some of you feel like you've outgrown this person. We have hesitancy, baby steps, and burnout. They fear you will reject them and won't accept them for who they are. It may feel slow or delayed, but progression will still come of this. So the universe is saying there's something here that's moving slow between you and this person. You may feel burned out by this. It says to maintain this bond, you may feel like there's too much energy. There's too much effort and work required and you're not feeling the love here. All right, we had regret at the bottom. Somebody's going to tell you that they regret walking away from you. We have very soon and next week. Two major arcanas here. Okay. Somebody is definitely regretting letting you go. They hold on to the guilt for the way they've treated you. And we have take time. Time and solitude is needed to contemplate your next moves. So that's what some of you are doing. You're like, okay, I need time. I need a break. I, I like I need to just ignore this situation for now. Maybe you're not totally done. Maybe you just like right now, you're like, um, maybe after a couple of days or a couple of weeks or a month or so after you've had some time to think about it and calm down about whatever's happened between the two of you you may decide to talk to this person for some of you though you're going to talk to them sooner than you think 
because they're still hanging on. They're not going anywhere. They're holding on to hope that everything will still work out. There's someone who is in the middle of this that's causing problems. We have negative energies are intervening and acting as an interference. So this could be a third party that don't want to see y'all happy. This could be a friend or a family member. I don't know why I'm picking up the energy that somebody's sister don't want to see y'all happy or somebody's, um, someone's sister or someone's ex. So some of you may be dealing with someone and you don't get along with their sister or their ex is intervening and they're trying to get them back. Maybe the sister is trying to get them back with the ex or something. All right. Oh, the universe is saying now is the time to show this person tough love. So maybe that's what you're doing. We have opening up. New and exciting opportunities will become available to you. Somebody's going to come out of their ego. And we have go for it. Instead of waiting for change, sometimes you have to be the change. And I feel like that's what y'all are doing. So some of you are being stubborn and you're holding back from this person because we have guarded heart. So you're like, okay, if you're not going to treat me right, if you're not going to change, then I'm going to change how I treat you. So some of you are just feeling like you don't want to give to this right now. I don't feel like you don't love this person anymore, though. I'm still seeing love here. But I feel like you're afraid to open up emotionally and express something about your feelings because you feel like, you know, every time you do this, you get hurt. Whether this has been a relationship in the past that you were hurt from or this person. So you just don't trust it anymore. So some of you trust is an issue here. And it could be with the fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. We also have phone call and within a few days. So some of you could hear from an airy sign very, very soon. I mean, an airy sign, a fire sign, <clears throat> excuse me, could be an Aries. This person may be talking about you because we have gossip. So we have air and fire here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you're going to hear from within a few days. Another major arcana. So you guys got a couple of major arcanas here. And then we have someone is speaking about you and it's influencing their decisions. So they could be getting advice from someone. I don't know why. Um, I don't feel like this advice is solicited, though. I don't feel like they're going to someone saying, what should I do about the situation? I feel like you're maybe coming up in a conversation. And you're being discussed or the situation is being discussed and your name comes up. And then um, someone gives your person advice on how to handle this. Especially is if they're being stubborn and they're holding back, waiting for you to reach out to them. They may be telling them, you know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> like, you might as well go ahead and reach out to this person. Especially if they were the ones who had done the wrong. Yeah, we have stuck in limbo. The universe is saying be patient. And we have divine protection here. So rejection is divine protection. So for some reason, you're teaching this person a lesson or the universe is wanting you to. And this is why things are stuck in limbo. All right, so let's jump into tarot. And let's see what else the universe wants you to know. The nine of pentacles. The two of pentacles. All right, so your energy is coming out strong. Two of pentacles and the eight of wands. Some of you are wondering. <laughs> this is funny because some of you are in your ego right now with the nine of coins. You're like, I'm too good for this. Like, I'm not going to be stressing over this person. Like, they don't know who I am. If they don't want to talk to me and they want to hold back and act like they could care less, well, I can care less as well. But with the eight of wands here, there's messages that are going to start coming in for you. Because this person don't know what you're up to. They're wondering what you're feeling and what you're thinking. And they don't like when they don't know what's going on with you. Because I feel like this is someone that you normally have conversation with. You know, you may tell them how your day is going. You know, you could call this person during the course of the day or text them. You guys may even, I'm picking if you guys may even text each other memes or things that you see on the internet. Instagram, you know, Twitter, Facebook, whatever 
through the course of the day, but you've been very silent, very quiet, very to yourself. They haven't heard from you. So they're like, okay, is Taurus still mad about whatever this is? Somebody wants to know your feelings. They want to know that whether they're bad or good. They just want to know. They don't like the silence. Yeah, Ace of Cups. They want a new beginning here. And there is going to be a new beginning with you and this person. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are just working really hard. But that's going to bring in um, the second chance. I feel like your person is having a wake-up call about this. They may even feel like they have to hurry up and talk to you. Maybe they feel like you have a choice you know, with someone else. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. What am I picking up on on this Eight of Pentacles? Um, you may be working on something or you just may be working really hard right now. Some of you are working more than one job. You may work at night. Some of you may work for the post office. I don't know why I just picked up post office. Where you're like on a mail machine and you're like, I don't have time to stop and talk to this person. It's like by the time I'm done, oh, by the time I'm finished, I'm tired. I take my break or I go on lunch. Or it's just like your focus is not on this person right now. At all. This person may even try to come to your job if they're able to. Or, or send you something to your job, Taurus. Maybe flowers or something to let you know that they love you and they care. Yep, Page of Cups. With the Queen of Pentacles, I called it. I'm telling you, because they, they feel like they shouldn't have left you out in the cold. Or if you're feeling left out in the cold, they want to know, how do you feel about something that happened? Maybe you found out something or you guys had an argument and you left it open-ended. Like neither one of you said anything else after the argument. But for some of you, you felt like this person was being sneaky with the Seven of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with another Earth sign and you're, or you got fire energy here as well. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming up again. So some of you are definitely dealing with fire signs. Or earth sign. You may be telling this person in so many ways. Like, if you leave me out in the cold, then okay, fine, cool. Don't expect to hear from me. Some of you also may be like, I can't. Like, you're... um. I feel like this person may have left you out in the cold first and you're like you're returning the energy like you haven't heard from them or something or you don't like the fact that this person will go days without calling you or, or texting you. You don't like that. So some of you are making this person feel this on purpose. Yeah, we have the emperor reverse. They're going to have to come out of their ego and their pride to, you know, talk to you and make things better. And this is not something they're used to doing. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries. The Eight of Swords and the Empress. Yeah, you're sitting in Empress status. You're like, okay, this is who I am. Um, I feel like you're very creative. You have a lot going for yourself. So you're like, I'm not going to wait around and play games with anyone. And even if you're wondering like where this is going to go, you're playing your cards right. Like the hand that you're dealing this person is sort of making them feel uneasy. Maybe this is how they had you feeling. Maybe you were feeling uneasy not too long ago. And now it's like the energy is switching. So this person may be trying to um, figure something out about you. Some of you also with this Eight of Swords is trying to make up your mind whether you're going to stay with whoever this is. You're starting to realize your worth or you have, you always realized your worth, but you were, you're like, this person is not deserving of it anymore. Maybe you're being really helpful. Some of you could be pregnant. You see this person is um, holding their belly. And you may be wondering if you're going to keep the baby or if you, if you're going to tell this person if you're pregnant or not. 
You know, we have water energy here, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Some of you may be pregnant by a water sign or, or think you're pregnant by a water sign. We have the Magician reversed. You may feel like it's hard to... Um, It's hard to manifest with this person right now is the way you're seeing things. But I do feel like things are going to get better as time goes on. This could be a Gemini or a Virgo that you're dealing with, Taurus. Oh, that card just flipped in a circle. Yeah, the Five of Cups. You're like, I'm over it. You didn't want this change. You didn't want things to happen like this. But I feel like you may have told yourself the next time this person does this. Because whatever happened here between you and them, I don't feel like this is the first time. And you may have told yourself the next time this happens, like, I'm done. I'm not putting up with it anymore. Because we had the, um, we had the walk in away card. I thought I saw it in here. Yeah. I feel like some of you are like, oh yeah, here we go. I feel like you told yourself, even without telling this person, you're like, the next time they treat me like this, or the next time they try to leave me out in the cold, because we did have the five of pentacles here. Like the next time this person leaves me out, that's it. I'm done. They can go and be with someone else. And now that you're standing on business, you're standing your ground. You know, you're setting boundaries with this person. They don't like it. They don't like how it makes them feel. So someone right now is like wanting your attention. So don't be surprised if someone starts sending you text messages, you know, if they haven't already. Taurus. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.